Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.6 and problem number 2.95. A vertical prismatic bar AB of negligible weight and length L is hinged to cylinder of radius small r at A and supported at D by a elastic, elastic spring CD as shown. The stiffness of the spring is K. And the spring is undeformed when alpha is equal to 0. The horizontal force P is applied to the bar AB at B as shown in the figure. Find the position of equilibrium as defined by the angle alpha in terms of P, K, L and R. That means there is a cylinder and a prismatic bar AB is attached like this. A prismatic bar AB is attached like this. Now a spring is also connected like this. Now what happened? Here we are applying a force P. Since it is fixed one, it will try to rotate. This is the rotation position. After rotating, then this AB makes an angle alpha with the vertical. Now our interest is to find the value of alpha uh, 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 to make the body is under equilibrium. So, for that, we will consider the free body diagram of the prismatic bar AB. Now, the AB weight is selfless, so weight is not considered. Now, here there is a force P acting in, the, in this direction. Now, the spring is elongated from this point to this point. The spring is elongated from this point to this point. Hence, there is a spring force. The spring force is always tangent to this cylinder. And the magnitude of the spring force is equal to stiffness into the deflection. How much the spring got elongated? This, this is the length where which the spring is elongated. And the, from this sector, I can say, that this elongated length of the spring is equal to r into alpha. This length is equal to r into alpha. Hence, the spring force is equal to k into r into alpha. Now, by considering the free body diagram AB and A makes an angle alpha, as I mentioned. Now, there is a spring force of magnitude k r into alpha. And how much is distance? Obviously, this is the radius r. This is radius r. And here there is a force P and whose length is L. And of course, here two reactions will develop and we are not showing here because anyway, we are considering the moments about point A. So by taking the moments about point A, I can find the required value. Now, to find the distances, I am using, I am constructing a small right angle triangle here. Now, this angle is also equals to alpha because opposite sides are angle. Since this angle is alpha, this angle is also equals to alpha. And this length is L. Hence, this distance must be equal to L sine alpha. Uh, hence, this distance must be equal to L cos alpha. Now, if you take the moments about point A, K R alpha will introduce a moment in this direction. P will introduce a moment in this direction. This is at a distance of small r. And the line of action of P is at a distance of L cos alpha from point A. Hence, if you take the moments about a point A, I can write the expression as Kr alpha, that is the force, into the distance R is equal to P into the distance is L cos alpha. And, and then cos alpha, I can write the equation cos alpha by alpha is equal to P, Kr square by P. This is the equation to satisfy the equilibrium condition and this is the answer for the given problem. 